Welcome to TheRideAdvice.com, your source for tips and techniques to make you a better rider. In this video, we'll look at the three types of corners you'll encounter and how to use vanishing points to know which one you're in. As the name suggests, an increasing radius corner is one where it starts with a smaller radius, going into a larger radius as the corner progresses. Riders can hit the apex before the midpoint of the corner, allowing for faster exit speeds. They're arguably the easiest of corners to navigate. So, let's take a look at how you can identify an increasing radius corner on an unfamiliar road. The characteristic of an increasing radius corner is that it opens up as you get further into it. The vanishing point or the point where the two sides of the road appear to meet in the distance should begin to look like it's moving away from you. Take a note of where the vanishing point sits here and watch between the brackets as we proceed. As we move around the corner, you'll notice that the vanishing point has moved up and away. Finally, as we head towards the exit, the movement of the vanishing point becomes more dramatic, opening up all the way. Let's take a look at another example of an increasing radius corner, this time without the brackets as a guide. Again, look at the vanishing point. This is an increasing radius corner because as you move further into it, the vanishing point appears to be moving away from you. A constant radius corner is simply a corner where the radius does not change. It's essentially a symmetrical corner and whether it's a 90 degree corner or a 180 degree hairpin, it's the same radius from entry to exit. For overall corner speed, a midpoint apex is best. For faster exit speed, a later apex is better. Let's look at it on the road. Like previously, we'll be looking at the vanishing point of the road along the horizon. The difference between a constant radius corner and an increasing radius corner is that here, the vanishing point will maintain the same relative distance while you're in the corner. As you can see, the vanishing point has stayed at a relatively constant distance. It's not until the exit of the turn that the vanishing point opens up like on any corner. Let's look at a second one. This one is on a freeway on-ramp going around 270 degrees at a constant radius. While the concrete barriers on the inside of the corner partially block the vanishing point, the same principles apply. Throughout the turn, the vanishing point remains at a constant distance from the rider's point of view until the corner exit. Our third and final corner type we'll look at is that of a decreasing radius. This is a corner that has a larger radius at the beginning with a smaller radius at the end. In other words, the corner tightens up. Both turn in and apex are later than that of either an increasing radius corner or a constant radius corner. In fact, a late entry for a decreasing radius corner is critical. Now, unfortunately, there is no way to spot a decreasing radius corner until you're almost halfway through it. Upon entry, it will look just like a standard constant radius corner. Just before the corner tightens up though, you'll see the vanishing point appear to come closer to you. With practice, you'll begin to spot this quickly and ensure you're nice and wide in the corner to make a late apex. Let's take a look. Again, look at the vanishing point. At this stage, there's nothing to suggest anything other than a constant radius turn. But watch carefully and you'll notice a subtle change just here you can see that the vanishing point has ever slightly come back towards the rider. It's obscured a little bit by the trees, but this shows that the corner is tightening, indicating a decreasing radius corner. Let's go back and look at it again, this time at a slower speed. Again, the change is subtle, but you can just see the vanishing point come towards you, right here. 